Diving is a tough sport, both mentally and physically. But Dylan Grizel and Tyler Roberts make it look effortless. As leaders of their team and synchronized diving partners, Dylan and Tyler have a strong relationship. But little do people know, their relationship goes all the way back 10 years ago to getting their feet first wet in Canada. Uh, we've both been on the Canadian national circuit and as well the Canadian junior national team together and now the Canadian senior national team together. So we, we've known each other our whole lives, we've been competitors our whole lives. Um, we're from different parts of the country, but we would see each other at meets all the time and we're always good buddies. We're definitely a lot closer than we were before, obviously because we live together, you know, in the same town and we train together all the time and we're synchronized diving partners now, um, which is awesome, it's a lot of fun. And when it comes to competing against some of the best, these two are definitely not afraid to dive right in. Uh, it's definitely scary the first time that you do it, um, being close to a board, but like now experiencing it, like you're not as close as you think you are. Same thing with like an outside perspective, they look and they always say like, oh my god, you're so close to the board when you do dives, but I mean, we're used to being that close. My success in, meet depend in, in a meet situation depends on trusting my practice um, and trying to imitate what I do in practice. I think a lot of times, um, you know, I get caught up in, oh, it's a competition, so all the, all the stuff that my body knows kind of goes out the window. So really reminding myself that if I trust what I know and, tr and trust what I do in practice, it'll, it'll develop and it'll, it'll happen on the board. And the coach knows when you put these two Canadians together, they're sure to make a splash. Everybody has their Mondays, you know, and they're no different than anybody else. But, uh, you know, the, the, the Team Canada thing is kind of a running poking fun at them, you know, uh, and it's fun to get to work with uh, athletes like that. They're both really good, you know, it's like getting to drive a Ferrari instead of my Volkswagen. And Coach Proctor is completely on board with keeping the environment as comfortable as possible. You know, my biggest goal with these kids is just to create an environment that they're going to get better in, that they like being here. They, they, they want to be a part of what's going on. Um, I think if you do those things, then the competitive side will follow. But these two aren't all fun and games. They know in order to stay successful, they must keep their eyes on the prize. Uh, in regards to championship season, um, you know, I'd love to qualify again for NCAAs, and it would be awesome to uh, final at NCAAs uh, to, to be an All-American, <laughs> as funny as it is that I'm Canadian. Uh, goals for this season is to be consistent, for sure, keep my mental attitude better than it was last year. I can always improve on that. Yeah, just overall the consistency, like diving is a very consistent sport, and so if I can go into a competition and consistently put all six dives on my head, then I mean, that's success for me. These two knolls just show whether you sink or swim, you should always be doing what you love with a smile. I'm Rose Perry reporting for Seminole Sports Magazine.